Okay, so the last thing I was going to show you was how we can use the function or the hotkeys. So the first one is probably the one that you're going to use when you're starting to use the application quite heavily. F1 will just bring up the help. F2 brings up the command window. So if you just go into the application, so F1, you'll see straight away pops up the help menu and you've got an index and a search function that you can run through. There are quite a lot of online resources for DraftSite. Um, DASA have put quite a lot of webinars together. Um, there's a share, there's one called the, the Lion Share by a guy called Mark Lyons that's put a lot of resource available. So F2, you'll notice it brings up the command window rather than having it dots at the bottom here. So F3 is your entity snaps. So say if you wanted to connect one line to an endpoint, to a midpoint, you can specify where the entities are going to snap to. F4, this is lifted straight from SolidWorks, which is an absolute, this is a quality thing to add. So F4, you know, recent documents, really good. Exactly the same option as SolidWorks, you can even show it in the folder, which is great. That's so much better than having to try and remember where you've saved something. You can just browse to it straight off. F5, if you wanted to start doing three-dimensional layouts, if you like, um, in the 2D plane, you can actually put isometric planes um, using the F5 command. F7 just toggles the grid on and off, so you can just um, add that back in if you wanted to, to show the grid. Um, F8 is for orthographic projection, so if you're projecting one view, you can, you can make sure that that's fully in line. And you've also got your other types of snaps, so you can snap it to grids and different points. And the last one's for polar tracking, so F10. So these are all on top of your keyboard, so they're pretty easy to access. So hopefully you guys will be able to find those fairly easily. But remember, all of the shortcuts you can change, you can override these keyboard settings. You don't have to leave them set as they are. Well, I hope you found a few useful bits of information there. Um, if you've got any other general questions about DraftSite, feel free to contact me directly. Uh, my name's Mark Tooley. But if you've got any feedback on the webinars, um, if you could just drop us an email to feedback at cadtech.com. But I thank, thank you for your time.